Hi. Since it's Monday, yay Monday, and it's still winter here in upstate New York, I thought it would be really fun to do a little video review for you guys. I um, oftentimes work with pre-strung beads on my work, but I've been working a little more lately with beads that are placed onto stitches. And this new tool came to my attention. It's called the Beetle Needle. And I already have a video tutorial that shows you how to place a bead onto a stitch with a crochet hook and also with a piece of Super Floss, which is a dental floss product. But after I found out about the Beetle Needle and started really loving using it, I realized I wanted to give you a tutorial for working with this as well. I did find that we're, there are a few tricks to working with it for things to go smoothly, so I thought a video tutorial would be the best way to do that. So um, once I'm done with this little introduction, we'll pan over to my hands showing you exactly how to use this. In um, the blog post that goes along with this video, I'll give you a few different places that you can purchase one if you want to get one for yourself. But remember, you can still use a crochet hook or a super floss or the beetle needle. They'll do the same thing. Place a bead onto a stitch of your knitting. And the beetle needle comes in two different sizes. It comes in a 0.8 millimeter and a 1 millimeter. The 0.8 millimeter is for size 8 Japanese seed beads that have a smaller hole because they're a smaller bead. And the 1 millimeter is for size 6 Japanese seed beads that have a little bit of a bigger hole. Um, Japanese seed beads, the naming nomenclature is different. The smaller the bead size, actually, the larger the bead. Okay, I'll see you with my hands in just a few seconds. So here we go, and I'm gonna show you how to work with the beetle needle. The beetle needle comes in some plastic packaging, but it also comes with this great tube for storing it in. And the first thing that you wanna do with the beetle needle is load it full of beads. You can do that from either end. I tend to go put on the beads with the end that has the little tiny crochet hook in it. It's super minuscule. These are size 6 Japanese seed beads. They're made by Matsuno. So these actually have a little bit of a square hole to them, and they are quite stunning. And I'm going to show you how to use this on, I chose some yarn right here, it's a, it's a cashmere blend, and it's got a little bit of fuzz on it. So I think it'll be really interesting for you to see how the beetle needle works. And what you do is you just go into the stitch that you want to put the bead on and grab the stitch so it's sitting in just right in that little hook spot and then slide a bead down onto the stitch and then put the stitch back onto your needle. And then the trick is dropping the beetle needle down out of the stitch. If you twist the beetle needle at all, you can end up embedding it into the fibers and that can end up making it really difficult to get it out of there. So the big trick is just to drop it out of there. Let me show you that again. So we've got our beetle needle and I'm bringing a bead up from the needle and then I'm sliding the stitch off, sliding the bead on and then sliding that on. And did you see how I just dropped the beetle needle right out of the way? Remember, when you place a bead on a stitch, you can either work the stitch after you place the bead or you can slip the stitch after you place the bead. If you slip the stitch, you end up being able to see the bead from the front of your work and not as much from the back of the work. But this bead over here, I worked it after I placed this bead, and you can see you can see it evenly both from the front and the back. So that is a design decision, and most designers, when they talk about working with beads in their patterns, will tell you what to do with that stitch that you've placed the bead on. But if you're going ahead and placing beads on your own patterns that you're working on, then swatch and play and see which one you like more. So what's so fun about the beetle needle is when you're done working with it, it comes with these little rubber stoppers. So you can load it up before you're out and about for the day and then just have it in its tube and be able to grab it and work with it with ease. 
I found that when I was working on some very long rows that had some beads on them recently, that I was able to work along with the beetle needle in my right hand, just like this. Let me make sure you're in focus here. So I just had the beetle needle in my right hand and I worked along the row and then when I got to a stitch that I wanted a bead on, I could just put my needle down and the beetle needle was right there ready to slap a bead onto a stitch. So easy. And then you can keep holding it or you can put it down. It's not really that big a deal to pick it up again. So that is the beetle needle. I'd love to hear what you think. Happy knitting.